In this video, we are configuring Dependabot to track our Terraform dependencies, such as our providers and our modules. And Dependabot is automatically going to notify us when there is a new dependency version or release available and create a pull request in GitHub for us. GitHub has a native integration with Dependabot. All we have to do is configure a configuration file and off we go, it works. But I would like to note that Dependabot at its core is run by Dependabot core. And if you look at the documentation um, on how to run Dependabot, it actually supports GitHub, GitHub Enterprise, Azure DevOps, GitLab, Bitbucket, and AWS code commit. Although you may have to do a lot more work to get it to work with these other platforms other than GitHub. It all depends on the platform you're trying to use dependable. So in my Terraform code, I have purposely configured three dependencies below the current latest version that is published. Now, technically I have four dependencies. I have Terraform, my two providers, and my module. However, Dependabot, as of today, is not monitoring the Terraform dependency itself. But what it does monitor is your provider dependencies and your module dependencies. So if I look at my two providers I have configured, I'm using AWS 500 and random 300. Again, not the current latest versions. And then I've configured the S3 module from the HashiCorp registry at 4.0.0, and again, not the latest version. So because my code is currently behind, we will see that when I configure Dependabot, it will create the pull request for all of these dependencies to bring them up to date. To get started, I am going to go ahead and clone my repository. And then once I've cloned my repository, I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call it .github. And then within .github, I'm going to create a new file called dependabot.yaml. And then in the readme of the example repository, I'll leave a link in the description. I'm going to copy this code and we'll go over it real quick. So what's happening here? Well, we are telling dependabot to look for any updates to our specific dependencies. And we specify the type of dependencies that we're looking for using the package ecosystem. In our case, we are looking for Terraform dependencies. And we are telling Dependabot where within our repository to look for these dependencies. So slash is the root. And it should be noted that Dependabot does not recursively search directories. So if, for example, you had a file in here uh, called app one, and you had some Terraform code in here, then when this Dependabot runs as configured right here, it would not look for and update the dependencies in the app one folder. In order to do that, we would have to create another block of Dependabot configurations here and specify app one. So just keep that in mind. Schedule is how often we would like Dependabot to run. So we can do daily, weekly, and if you look at the readme, leave a link in the description below, there are some links to the documentation that you can go ahead and follow. And then I'm going to pick at what time daily I want Dependabot to run. And I'm going to do 0900, and I've specified the time zone as well to be Eastern Standard Time. And it should be noted that daily only runs on weekdays. We can configure the amount of open pull requests we want at once. And then finally, allow, and then we'd specify the types of dependencies that we are interested in watching. And for Terraform, I'm just specifying all. Now, for other package ecosystems, there are a lot more options, but Terraform, because it can only monitor providers and modules at the time of this recording, it's fairly simple. So with that saved, I'm gonna go ahead and commit this to the repository. Now, once you commit this, what will happen is Dependabot will automatically trigger and perform a scan of your repository. So we don't have to wait until tomorrow at 0900 or later today at 0900 
because Dependabot will do an initial check for us. So uh, about 30 seconds went by, and now you can see I have three pull requests pending in my repository. I've got one for the random provider, one for the AWS provider, and one for that Terraform module. So what I can do is I can go ahead and merge all of these. Now with those pull requests merge, if I take a look at the code, we can see that my providers and my module are both now up to date. Now, sometimes you want to update your code before the next Dependabot check runs and you don't want to wait for the next check to run. So maybe I add this Kubernetes provider to my code and unknowingly, I set it to a version that is not the latest version. And then I commit this back to my repository. So now when I go to GitHub and I look at my code, um, I have a version or a dependency that is not up to date with the latest version. So what do I do? Do I wait for Dependabot to simply run the check tomorrow at 0, 0900 hours? Or is there a way I can trigger this manually? And yes, there is. So, so if you come to your repository and you go to insights and you go to dependency graph and you click on Dependabot, you can click here on recent update jobs and you can check for updates. And that's going to trigger Dependabot to run automatically. And so once this is done, we should see a pull request in here for the Kubernetes provider. All right, and there we have it. So Dependabot has successfully picked up that I have a dependency that is not up to date with the latest version released. So there you have it, pretty simple, not too complicated. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.